In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about why you should be timing your sessions. What's up guys, my name's Noah. I make music as Haterade here for Sonic Academy. Now I know what you guys might be thinking. Why would you time your sessions? That just, why would you create undue stress? That doesn't really create a, a creative working environment. It doesn't cultivate the vibe, man. Well, I'm gonna to explain to you guys three reasons why you might wanna consider this. But before we do that, I wanna tell you guys about sonicacademy.com. If you're just here on the YouTube channel and you haven't been to sonicacademy.com, go check it out. We have over 1,300 hours of material on there from tons of great producers, lots of great info. Go check it out, it's awesome. Okay, let me start out by highlighting what I'm not saying. Because I know a lot of people might be getting pretty angry right now. They might think, oh, this guy, he doesn't know anything what he's talking about. I'm not saying to rush through your work. I'm not saying quality doesn't matter. And I'm not saying if you take your time on your work, you won't get better. That's not what I'm saying at all. Here's what I am saying. And this might not be for you. You should try this. Try it. If it doesn't work out, that's okay. But it works for me and it's worked for a lot of other people. So I know it will work for some of you guys, for sure. The first reason is Parkinson's law. If you're not familiar with Parkinson's law, it states that work expands to the time allotted for its completion. For an example here, think about when you were in school or if you're in school right now and your teacher gives you two weeks to complete an assignment. Are you completing that on day two or day three of that two weeks? Probably not, right? Most of us wait until the very last minute, right? If we're unorganized, at least how I was in school, at least. You got an email from your favorite label saying, hey, we need a track from you completely original in two days. You would get that track done, right? Creating that sense of limitation for yourself. Like I need to get an idea down in this amount of time. It completely eliminates second guessing from yourself. You're not thinking, Oh, well, maybe I should try another idea. Maybe I should, you know, maybe try a different drum sound, go through a hundred different drum sounds. If you got a limited time, you're making creative decisions and making those creative decisions quickly and not second guessing yourself over the time of your career, you'll make way more music this way. And just like I said right there, my second point here is it helps you get your reps in. In order for us to be great musicians, we have to be bad musicians a lot. We have to make bad music all the time. I still write bad music, but there are a lot of songs that I write where I would never want to show up to people. I come up with an idea, I execute it, finish it, and I just set it aside. I go, uh, well, maybe I don't want to share that one. And that's okay, because you have to make a lot of bad music in order to make good music. The more music you'll make, the more challenges you'll encounter. Every song presents its own challenges. And when you overcome those challenges or encounter them, you'll know what to do when you encounter similar challenges in the next tune. And over time, that skill compounds into mastery of your craft. Last point is it forces you to move on. A lot of this, and I'm definitely guilty of this myself, start an idea and get stuck on it. And you're like, oh my gosh, I, I just, I'm stuck on this song, I can't get it right. Well, if you set a time limit for yourself, like I am going to finish this mix in two days, that's my deadline. Whatever state that song is in in two days, that's how it's gonna be. And then I'm gonna move on to the next one. Otherwise, there's an infinite finish line and you'll never finish it. I I knew one guy who stayed on the same track for over a year. Think of how many, how much music he could have made in that time. We all wanna make our songs perfect too, but guys, newsflash, you'll never make a perfect song. No matter how good you get, no matter how advanced you get in your career, you'll never write a perfect song. Always just to write a better song next time and then a better song after that. And this is not an excuse to abandon a project. You wanna finish your projects. I'm sure all of us, if we opened up our Ableton projects folder or whatever doll you're using, there's a ton of unfinished projects in there. How much better would that be if they were all finished songs? Even if they weren't songs that you wanted to share with everybody, you could say, I've written 200 songs. That's great. That shows that you're a professional. It shows that you're skilled and that you take your work seriously. By establishing deadlines for yourself, and that's essentially what this timing your sessions is. It doesn't have to be with a stopwatch, but setting deadlines for yourself is really what's going to help you progress as a producer. Finishing more music on a regular basis is really what's gonna help you take that next step forward. And that's the basis for this video. That is what I wanted to say to you guys today. Thanks for watching. Remember, go check out sonicacademy.com. Tons of courses on there that you guys will love. All right, thanks guys, peace. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked this video, then you know, smash that like button. And if you wanna be notified about new content, hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Peace.